Here's going to be a collection update for September 20th. I figured I'd make one just because I got quite a few new models. And I'll show those towards the end. So up here we got the two Freightliner Sentry class with flatbed. And they both have Cinebogan parts. Got some stuff up there just because it's out of, can't see it from up here. Up, up here. Kenworth T800 with the low boy and the 848 skidder I believe Matt Granite with the low boy and the 648 skidder I don't really know what the forestry model numbers so if I'm wrong I, f I might be wrong so the John Deere 9 909 processor John Deere 2954 shovel loader and the P&H mining shovel. The 4100 tower crane jib and whatnot up here. I will sell if you just name a price. They are broken though. Just be aware of that. Deere 624. I'll sell that. 950. 260, I'll make a review of that probably shortly. 938, 420D, 146. This isn't a new one, It's I just decided to display it. It's the Case 580 backhoe. Kempman skid steer. C238 skid steer. Poden. The Hallowit man lift. D51, 850K, D300, 725, and 631E. The two rock trucks I will sell. Just name a price. 336E, 336D, 320 d 936 or 916 in Gruber. 205. PC 400, I'll sell that. This guy just got a little kind of diorama set up here with the 430 and the Topcom. Three Oshkosh S Series front discharge mixers. Two are in Revolution and one's in Sheboygan. And I got two with the chutes and one up for transport. Kenworth T880 in white. Matte granite. Flatbed dump truck in white. Oshkosh H series with the snowblower and the plow back there. Tachi 1000 in Avenir Deconstruction with the shear. Zaxxas 870 in Ocean Traders with the shear. LB28 in Implenia. Cat 349 and another, uh, one of the new ones, it's a Cat CT660. And I just really like those two together, and I really like these two together. I've been, they've been growing on me a lot, and I decided to put the 349 up here just because I finally got the review up. And if you're, if you're watching this, the review of the 349 is already up. 4100 tower crane and it's got the link belt weight that came with the 8080 the 1500 Cinebogan 50 5500 with main boom only two hooks and a load and just some a couple hooks 349 bucket Grove RT540, fully extended with fly jib and whip line. A trench box and pipes. Two first gear tag trailers. I got two. These are the two that I just got with the rest of them order. The Terex RT130, all extended. 
five parts a line and a load. This model, it's this one's been causing me to give me quite a pain in the butt lately. This is actually a replacement one. The one I first got, the the spring on the main drum was broke, and I did I turned it once, and the spring just snapped. So I contacted 3,000 Toys, and they sent a new one. I just have to send the old one back. The Link Belt 8080 fully extended with and it's picking the S750 which is another new one another tag trailer another new one it's the Kenworth T880 in red and I just got really just got this one and the CT660 just because I really want more like road going trucks rather than the um like ADTs so that's why I got that and last is the Grove 4100L mobile crane as you can see it's a very tall crane it's got the concrete bucket on it I really do like how it looks fully extended but however that is how it as far up as it goes without because you have to put a pin in it but as as for new models I'm really not sure I I just kind of recently noticed after I got this last order that I really do have quite a few mobile cranes and like rough terrain cranes and I have three crawler cranes so I'm either another crawler crane or something or I'm I really want more truck models also so it might be one of those on or both I'm not sure yet but I recently saw the Viking Stadium construction and there was a they had an 18,000 there which I thought was very cool I made a video on part of it sorry if, it, if you've already seen it it's but if you've already seen it then no big deal or not anything new but if you haven't seen it go check it out I think it's pretty cool and I'll also be putting more photos of that up on my Google Plus so as for upcoming reviews the the 260 and Probably 4100 here, and possibly either the I might just do one of, of one of the the R, the RT 130 and the the Sumitomo 1500. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Just shoot me a comment saying what you'd want to see, or if you want a video on any certain model, I'll make one of those so so that's all for today hope you like it liked it and thanks for watching